Alright, welcome back to the EMCC, the most ambitious channel on the internet. I'm back with some more goodies from the garden, to just show you something wonderful, wonderful. Uh, before I do, I'd like to thank everybody, you know, uh, who recently subscribed to the channel. Welcome. Welcome. Y'all are part of something, uh, you know, probably before it was, uh, before it's cool. Alright, so... Like I say, goodies from the garden, crookneck squash, we got some, uh, some zucchini. I'm just going to show y'all something awesome. Alright, in this bowl, I got some, uh, I believe it's all-purpose flour. But it could be self-rising flour, it really doesn't matter. Alright, this bowl is currently empty. I'm going to start, I'm going to go ahead and put some salt and pepper in with my flour before I forget. This is just to taste however you want to, you know, however you feel like you want to do it. I like pepper more than I like salt, so, ooh, okay, that's a goodly amount. Let's see how that looks. Oh, no, that's not too much. That was perfect, actually. All right, now some salt. Not a, not a big salt guy. Um, you'll probably want to add more than what I just did. Kind of stir everybody up with this fork. All right, I just wanted to do that before I, before I forgot. All right, so now uh, we're going to start with the squash. There's a reason for that. There's a reason. Okay, another thing I did, I got some vegetable oil in my skillet. Vegetable oil in my skillet. So, peel these guys. See if I can't do it somewhat quickly. Not the best of this. Let me cut the end of this off because... I don't really need that. That green bit, you don't need that. Okay, so. If I can't think of a fun story to tell while I do this. Um, nothing's really coming to mind. I guess I could just cook for a change. But, uh, oh, I know what I can tell you about. The chemical attack. The chemical attack nobody ever heard of. Yeah, it was on, I looked, it was on <laughs> none of the news stations. Yeah. Uh, and it happened in a major, well, I, I say a major city. It happened in a really disgusting place that I'm not going to name because it's just, no. It's just, I can't believe I lived there. I can't believe I lived there for as long as I did. But, yeah, it happened. So, I was over at my girlfriend's. Uh... And um, <laughs> I was sleeping. Man, I was sleeping so well. It was so great. I'm talking about it. It's one of the dreamless sleeps. That you just, man. I mean, it's so good. It was so good. And um, all of a sudden, man, my lungs just completely, just completely seized up. Okay? And I started choking, and hacking, and coughing. And like my eyes just immediately, just immediately, just the thickest film of tears. And I'm hacking and, and hacking stuff up. My nose is running. My eyes are running. It, it like, it happens. It all happens at once. And it like runs into my ears. And it feels like my ears are bleeding. Because like the, it, the pressure and all the juices, it's all popping. And it's horrible. And I can't move. I'm like, guess here, I can't move. And I'm... Choking and carrying on, I finally and I, I finally punch, just as hard as I can punch, straight up, and it knocks the covers off of me. I've gotten wrapped up in the covers, and man, I can't see nothing. And I'm so scared, man. I, I, I'm so scared, and I, and I jump up on the bed on my feet, and, I, and I'm feeling around for my girlfriend. It's a chemical attack. It's a chemical. I'm screaming and choking and dying. And where are you? Where are you? And in the process of doing that, I'd like wrap the comforter and the sheet around my foot. Okay? I can't see nothing, man. I'm choking and carrying on. And I'm like, Do you have a gas mask? And, I, and, and if, I'm like, No, of course you didn't have a gas mask. You know, I say to myself, So I'm thinking I'm going to go uh, try to find a, some, wet, some towels and wet them and wrap them around our face, you know, so we don't get gassed to death. And I go to like jump off the bed and, and start, you know, moving. 
And man, that comforter wrapped around my foot and it like, it altered my flight path just enough to where I really kicked the, um, the nightstand. I'm talking about, I kicked it. And I'm coming down face first, boom, like a meteor, busted my nose wide open. And all that fear that I was feeling immediately turned into the whitest, hottest rage. And I very nearly said, Gosh darn it! Why couldn't they have just come in and shot us? At that point I heard click and a ray of light shot across the floor in front of me. And I, and I turned and I looked and it was my girlfriend in the bathroom and she was just sitting there. And I yelled, Why are you just sitting there? And then I got a thunderbolt, it hit me. This memory, this vague memory, distinct memory of a conversation two weeks back about hereditary irritable bowel syndrome. Yeah, so there was that. Alright. There's only two squash to peel this time. Um, this is this is really good. And it's it's you know I've kind of noticed a theme with uh, this channel. Not everything I cook is, is healthy. Uh, this will not be I mean it's a little healthy because it's squash and zucchini, but it's not like for example, the last squash, it was um, it wasn't fried. It was uh, what do you call it? It was stir fried. It was stir fried. Except I didn't really stir it. In uh, in bacon grease. It was really good. It was really good. This is this is also very good. This is also very very good. What's about to happen? It's just it's wonderful wonderfulness. So. Once again, oh. yeah, so there's that. But, um, what else is another story? Squash peeling tales. Now, always, you know, for me, I mean, it sucks, but it, it does. It's, it's really profound. But I mean, I always love her. And there's, you know, there's a few people that fall into that category of I'll always love them. Be nice if I didn't love them. But so far, fireworks. Let me hear fireworks. So far, no such luck. You know. But it's it's a very profound thing, falling in love. Uh it's 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 man, I don't even know. I don't even know how to describe it. It's not undescribable the way I experience love, but it's kind of unbelievable. It's kind of unbelievable. And, uh, you know, what can you do? It makes me crazy. That's a big part of, like, why I am the way I am is, you know, those three small words. But anywho, man, I'm so excited about this, guys. This is just, this is... This is going to be great. It's uh, not going to be great for me, but it's going to be great. It's going to be great. Alright, just part of my neck. Alright, so. I think we're going to. I think we're going to uh, go ahead and do the squash. And then come back with the zucchini because it's going to take a while for the squash to get the way I want them to get. Alright, so now, take our handy dandy hunting knife. Cut these bad boys up. Oh, trying to get away. I 
caught him. I caught him. Yeah. Don't want to cut your fingers off, ladies and gentlemen. And really, if you're squash, I mean, if you get them young and tender, you really don't even have to peel them. Squash them well for what we're about to do. I want to add pills because, I don't know, I feel like I'm trying to get better at peeling vegetables. And so, I uh, went ahead and got a little, a little more practice. these guys. I've been watching my ongoing series on gardening. <laughs> you know this uh, squash was um, you know kind of hard fought. It's kind of hard fought. Let's try this. Just cut the butt off right off the bat. Make it easy. Make it easy on myself. See I'm lighter. I'm getting better. But, uh, doing this like I know what I'm doing. But do I know what I'm doing? Yeah. Yeah. Um, kind of. Kind of. Actually stole this recipe from my mother. A lot of the stuff you see me do, I learned from my mother. As far as cooking is concerned. As far as cooking is concerned. All right, so now. Now, egg. Oh yeah. Ah, oh, come on, fingers. There we go. All right, now we need to kind of scramble them a little bit. Kind of scramble them. All right, now you can use water. You can use skim milk. You can use whole milk. I am using buttermilk. Buttermilk. Oh, because I I really like buttermilk. I really do. Mmm. I really, really do. Alright, I'm gonna mix this and we're gonna have to come up with a different uh, different shot. Oh, I need to Get the grease, turn the grease on. Turn my grease on, baby. Alright. Put him on, um, put him on medium heat. Let him be getting warm. Probably should have done that already, but I didn't. Uh, forgive me for not wearing a belt, but I mean, I'm home. The day is over. I'm not going to be. I'm gonna be comfortable. Oh god, this looks so good. It is so good. Man. I am too tall. Too tall for this, me thinks. Let's try this. Let's try this. Huh? Oh! Give me a stool, I guess. I don't know. I think I can just turn around and sit. Look like a little boy. Look like a little boy doing this. Oh, yeah. I'm a big kid now. All right. So, what we, what we want to do? We're gonna take our squash. We dip it in our uh, in our egg and our um, buttermilk. And I let the batter stick. And we 
put it in the crease. It still isn't hot, but it'll get hot. It'll get hot before you know it. Boom. I love it. Simple, easy to remember. to be marvelous. Simply marvelous. Oh. Yeah, this, this is what I would consider fried squash. The other stuff, not so much. But this is definitely fried squash, ladies and gentlemen. You got your batter, you got your flour, you got your egg, What else is there, you know? What else is there? And I got, you know, if I had to add more of everything, I have more of everything. I have more so I can, if I have to. Uh, I was very uncomfortable sitting there doing that. Of course, this is also uncomfortable. It's not a good way of doing things sometimes, you know. It's not a good way. There we go. And like I said, you don't have to use buttermilk. A lot of people don't like buttermilk. And I'm not gonna, you know, I'm not gonna hold it against you if you're one of them. But, I like buttermilk. And I think you should at least, you should at least try cooking with buttermilk. At least once in your life, because it's just, it's totally different. It's a totally different experience. Let's see if I can get a few more in there. I'm running out of room in my pan. I'm running out of room. I'm running out of flour. Oh, it's starting to sizzle a little now. It's starting to sizzle. It's starting to sizzle. It's starting to sizzle. And yeah. Uh... Alrighty. Let them do their thing for a while. Let's see how. I just need something shorter to set my camera on. I don't know. I still haven't quite got all this stuff figured out yet. That's part of the fun, you know. That's part of the fun. Trying to, you know, just trying to figure it out. It's, uh, yeah, now the uh, zucchini recipe is just a little bit different. Just a little bit different. Gotta add one more thing to the mix. It's gonna make this so, so very good. So excited thinking about it, I can't even get this dude peeled. Honestly, as young as and tender as he, as he is, I probably don't even really need the peeling. But I'm going to anyways. I 
I actually know someone whose last name is Zucchini. Let me tell you something. She's magical, wonderful, beautiful, benevolent, kind, really classy. Mmm, <laughs> starting to smell good in here. Starting to smell good. Oh, dang it. Peel the zucchini faster than I can. How's that? How's that? Picking up speed. Picking up speed. Up, up, up. I'm doing a little something. Shoot. I'm doing a little something now. I wish I cut that end off. Am I setting some kind of weird record? Probably not. Probably not. But I am enjoying myself. I am enjoying myself. And it's smelling good. It's smelling good. I wonder if I need to turn them. I if I need to turn it. Probably not. Probably not. I probably just need to let them do their thing. Let them do their thing. Cut this, cut this guy up. Cut this guy up. Man, yeah. Man, yeah. Come here. Come here, you know what hunting knife? Let's see how we're doing over here. Yeah. Oh, it smells so good. It smells so good. It doesn't need to be flipped yet, though. It doesn't need to be flipped. You need to give it just a little bit more time. A little bit more time. Gosh. It smells so good. All right, I'll tell you what we can do while we wait. Let's uh, add some more flour. Salt and Alright, so I turned the fire up and it's been, uh, it's been five minutes since I did that. It went from five to six. And another couple minutes, there's a, take them up. Take them up. And it looks good. Prepare a plate. So, yeah. Hang on, I'll, I'll, I'm coming back. Yeah, so that uh, didn't even take five minutes. Uh, it took about three more minutes, and I snatched them off of there. And they are really hot, or I would take a bite and show you how wonderful life is. All right, but now it's zucchini time. Okay, zucchini. Uh, we're going to add some Italian seasoning to this. Season to taste, same as before. All right. Italian seasoning. I cover up the brand, I'll show it to you. See? Italian seasoning. So, yeah, it's gonna make them awesome. It's going to make them really awesome. Look at that. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Maybe just, just a little bit more on top. Just a little bit. 
that's enough. Yes, samey same, you know, samey same. Boom. And then, pow. And then, in we go. Boom. Pow. It's peeling. Throw that out. In we go. Boom. Get the idea. We're done. Yeah. In. Yeah. Now I got the fire turned up. It shouldn't take as long as the squash did. And if you're watching this and you're seeing, you know, seeing the mistake I'm making or whatever, or, or if you know a different method. Please don't be shy. Please. I am all about learning and trying new things. If you haven't, haven't, you know, haven't noticed that about me. Man, this is so much fun. I'm ready for the squash to cool down. I'm like standing right over. I'm just inhaling the goodness. I want it. I want it. Mm. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. That zucchini smells even better than the squash. Cooking, I think it's that Italian season cooking. Cooking in it. Yeah, Italian seasoning and squash don't mix. You want to you wanna save your Italian seasoning for your zucchini. That's why, that's why I did the squash first and the zucchini second. Hot on me. Alright. I'm gonna eat some of the squash. Come back with the zucchini when it's done. Alright, so yeah, look. I flipped the uh the zucchini and yeah. I'm gonna try the squash. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's really good. The zucchini's ready to come out. Not quite. That piece isn't in there. That one's ready. Oh! That one's ready too. Come out of there. Lord. It makes more room. Mmm. Seem to be cooking faster in the middle. Oh! Mmm. Oh my gosh. The zucchini. I probably like the zucchini a little bit better. Oh, I popped myself. But I like the squash too. I like the squash too. All right, there you have it. I'll probably uh, throw that stuff on off camera. No That's way. all the time we have for tonight. I hope you've enjoyed. Welcome to all the, the new subscribers. I appreciate y'all subscribing. And I would like y'all to help the channel grow if you can. And I'm not going to say goodbye. For I'm sure we will meet again. But until we do, 
I want to wish you all the good luck and love in the world.